today's video we are going to talk about cloud printing so basically what we are trying to do is being outside of your home so that you'll be able to print so here this time we are not connected to wi-fi okay so let me delete this this time we are connected to our cellular network so it can be either what 4g or our 5g network okay so let's say you are out there and uh, or let's say you have this implementation in your home office and you have your mobile phone with you and you are outside maybe in the shopping mall or somewhere and you 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 get a message an email and you want to immediately print for somebody to pick it up at home okay so how can you print to your home office the printer in your home office uh for somebody to pick at home uh because you are in the shopping mall okay so this is a, a scenario we're gonna use number one this printer is not a network printer so the printer mainly is the same printer we use in the in the in the previous video that is a hp dexjet 3637 okay so we're going to use the same implementation to activate the cloud printing from google okay so this will be much easier for android users okay so let's get started uh we need to start the configuration on our on our server now what you need is this system has to be online it needs internet connection number one number two you also need to install the google chrome you need the google chrome if you don't have it it's free you can install it download and install chrome number three uh for android users and I, I know most of you already have a google account gmail account any anything google is okay for iphone users you can easily create one is also free for this implementation so let's make a quick verification and make sure we don't have anything configured so we can go to google.com forward slash cloud cloud print okay so google.com forward slash cloud print so here you see i do not have anything under under printers so when i click on printers i don't have any printer listed here so here you have the options to add a classic printer or a cloud ready printer a cloud ready printer has a network connection and all those stuff but um, uh, don't forget we do not have an, a printer that has network connection so we only have a classic printer all right so let's open a new tab type in chrome colon forward slash forward slash devices okay and hit enter okay so here my devices i can only save to google chrome i don't have any printer yet so let's add a printer all right so it is listing the printers i have on this particular machine so this is the desktop i'm working from my desktop and you need to sign in don't forget into the chrome browser when you see up here you see i'm signed in okay so i'm signed in to the chrome browser so you have to sign into the browser so i need dexjet i don't need fax i don't need this i don't need that so automatically register new printers i connect so if you have a another printer a new printer uh you that you need to connect to your desktop when you connect to it it will immediately add it to the cloud environment so we can leave that option so here we're going to add the dexjet 3637 
so that is selected add printers so thanks you are ready to go okay let's click on manage printers and see what we have here okay so it says currently offline uh, the reason why it is saying currently offline is it takes some time for it to come online okay so you see i did the refresh and voila now you see it is online so on our previous page here there was nothing so let me refresh this same page that is the same page and you have it here so we have text jet 3637 available under my account here so you need to know depending on the account that is logged in okay so this is ready for cloud printing so i'm gonna get my phone uh disable wi-fi is gonna be on uh 4g network so that we we will try to print so uh, this is my android phone all right so let's try and see now since you have already set up the printer uh in google cloud print there is you don't have to do any configuration on your phone just make sure that the account that you used on the for on the on your pc for the configuration should be the same account that is being used on the phone okay and secondly the pc that is connecting the printer has to be on always on if you want to print anytime so here we can see that i'm not on wi-fi okay so it is on lte i'm not connected to the wi-fi so let me open a notepad and let's try printing uh let me open it. okay so this is just a short code on arduino let me let's try and see if we can print this text so go to options uh print so you can print from your email you can print a pdf from your phone you can print any text file word from your phone anything so i'm going to print this text file from the phone so print here so on top here you see select printer so let me go there and voila so you see the first option is dexjet 3637 so you see how this is configured this is not the printer is not connected to my phone the printer is not even a network printer this is just a usb printer connected to my desktop but i've added it to the cloud google cloud print list of printers and it is available on my phone through my gmail account okay if it is not here just wait for a minute or two it is going to populate all the printers that you have okay so i'm going to select hp dexjet printers uh, before i print so when you select it you see the yellow sign on top here if the printer is not available you are not going to see that yellow sign the yellow sign or that print sign only comes when the printer is available i'm going to move over to where the printer is so we can see it coming through okay all right so now let me issue the print and let's see so print okay your document may pass through one or more servers okay so okay all before a print uh maybe two minutes or less depending on the net speed of your network So that is it for you for the cloud print so it took about uh 20 25 seconds for the uh, the command to arrive okay all right so hopefully you're gonna enjoy this thank you for watching